Hi everybody, it's me! <laughs> okay, so Halloween is next week, and you guys know I don't really celebrate it. It's not something my family really believes in. However, I thought it'd be a really cool trick, well, not a really cool trick, a really cool treat for all of you who subscribe to me or watch my videos who do celebrate Halloween in a bigger way than I do. I mean, I'm just dressing up for work, but really, I don't really need that big of an excuse to wear butterfly wings. <laughs> so I thought I would film my reaction to the all new trailer for the Stephen King movie, Pet Cemetery. Now, I have said that I am a big fan, that I do like horror. I am a horror fan. I just don't like slasher, what I term gore porn. So, P Stephen King is actually one of my horror, the horror guys I look up to. That being said, I've only ever read two Stephen King books in my entire life, and that has been Carrie and Firestarter. And I've only seen, like, one actual, and I have seen, I have seen the remake of Carrie, the one that aired on TV, that my, that I got in trouble for watching because my aunt called me when I was in the middle of watching it and she heard the TV. So, um, but what is funny is that my mom, my family didn't watch, want me watching Carrie. However, as a kid, they, Stephen King did do that miniseries on CBS called Kingdom Hospital. And that is the only like Stephen King movie miniseries that I have actually watched all the way through. Oh, my mom let me watch it, which is kind of shocking because my parents didn't want me to watch Carrie, but they let me watch this mini series um, of Kingdom Hospital, and I actually liked it. I don't know how many people liked Kingdom Hospital, but I really, really, really enjoyed Kingdom Hospital. I love the story. I love the characters. I love the setting. Um, it was. It did give me some nightmares, but I really enjoyed it. So I do like Stephen King. It's just that I have not been as exposed to his works as other people might have and that is simply by choice I'm like one of those people who when my I find my favorite things I don't really deviate too far off that's kind of like why my favorite movie series is Star Wars and I and Marvel so I don't really like branch out into other movie fandoms because when I find something I like I just stick with it <laughs> Um, so I, like I said, I read Firestarter, I read Carrie, I love those books, I loved Kingdom Hospital, so just, I, I like Stephen King, I just haven't really done a lot with them, but in honor of the spooky holiday next week, and because I do love horror, I thought for an extra special treat, I, like I said, I will do a reaction to the Pet Cemetery trailer, now this dropped two weeks ago, so it has been out for a while, I've just been debating whether or not to do a couple trailer reactions because they also dropped the teaser trailer for Aladdin. And I'm a huge Disney fan, and so I would love... So if you guys want me to do a trailer reaction to Aladdin, just let me know. Um, because it's the new live-action version. I'm kind of excited for the new Aladdin movie, but then again, I'm always excited for anything new Disney puts, puts out. Except for Nutcracker and the Four Realms. I really want to go see that movie, but I'm not going to because it's not going to be in 2D. So... That being said, here is my Halloween All Hallows Eve treat for you guys. I know it's early, but I'm not going to be able to do this on Halloween itself. So here is my special spooky little treat for you. It's my treat for myself. The trailer reaction to Pet Cemetery, which is due out in 2019 from Paramount Pictures. So I'm really interested in this. I think this is one of the Stephen King books that they made a movie before, so it's a remake. So I really want to see it. So here I go. Let's see how scared I get just watching the trailer. <laughs> Better. Ooh. So many trees. It's beautiful, right? That's definitely not Boston. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, so like what do you think? Wow. This whole place is ours? I can go and throw in a whole forest. There's a new backyard. Ah! 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 That was just a truck. It was a myth. Kid, 
kids. We used to dare each other to go into the woods at night. They knew the power of that place. They feared it. Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> Those woods belong to something else. another scare um that was good <laughs> i can't believe i got scared by that the first i can't believe there was like one jump scare and it got me it's like oh my gosh and the worst thing is is i don't know if you guys could fully tell but after that scare after that truck in the trailer went by i just spent the entire rest of the trailer like watching it and tense completely tense waiting for that final scare because it's like building and building. I'm like, I'm already terrified because of that truck. So I just know something's going to jump out at me. But <laughs> that was good. I mean, I have said I haven't read a lot of Stephen King stuff, but I am familiar with it. So I do know what Pet Cemetery is about. I do know it's the, the plot of the movie. Um, so it is kind of creepy. I do like the kids because there's just something about horror and kids when kids are like involved. It just makes it like 10 times creepier. So I do know the plot of Pet Cemetery. Basically, it's like this plot of land that brings the dead back to life. And this um, dad decides after a tragic event decides to use that, but it doesn't go as planned. Um, like most of Stephen King's um, stuff, what happens to the main characters, what they do does not go as planned. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I think it would depend on what that movie's rated. I don't do a I prefer not to do rated R horror movies simply because the higher the rating, the bigger chance is that they're going to be like kind of gory and slasherific, and that's not stuff I do. My whole thing is what you don't see is the scariest so my whole thing is what you don't see off screen but what you can hear what you can sense what you can just see in shadows on the wall that is far more scarier to me than what you actually see because it plays with your mind so i'm very much into psychological horror what you're not seeing than i am into the slasher fix like halloween and freddy and nightmare on elm street and all those movies i don't like those because they're very much more impactful in your face and I'd rather have the subtle scare I mean jump scares are fun I love jump scares but I don't want those jump scares to come with somebody getting decapitated <laughs> so I much prefer jump scares with um the horror you can't see what you can't see is the scariest so that's my preferred brand of horror and it works really well on me <laughs> as you can probably tell I am like very easily woohoo out the door my favorite joke is when my machine, when my computer, when the card reader at work starts talking back to me, I am out the door <laughs> because I'm like, I've seen enough movies to know that's not a good thing. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick little reaction for a spooky Halloween treat. Well, it really wasn't spooky. My big treat is coming today because today is the day Netflix is dropping the new TV series, the new series, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, which I'm excited to see. I'm really kind of hopeful for this series. I did catch some Riverdale not really a big fan of the Riverdale TV series. I don't know why I'm not a big fan of the Riverdale TV series, but I'm not. So I'm kind of, I'm excited for the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina because I love, like I said, I love Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I like being the spooky TV shows. I like being scared. So I'm kind of excited 
for this darker take, and it's based on these on the comics. So I'm really am excited for the chilling adventures of Sabrina, but I'm also nervous because it's probably the same people who did the Riverdale TV series on the CW, which I am not a big fan of. And I don't really know why. So I don't like the new Riverdale TV series, but I'm kind of really thinking I will like the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Which for me in the CW is nothing new. I loved Gossip Girl and Charmed, but I could not stand Rain. And I love Supergirl. So like with the CW for me, it's like hit or miss. I'm either really going to like it or I'm really not going to like it. So I will talk to you. So when I post this video Sunday... I will give you guys an honest review of how I felt about the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And I'm also going to give you guys a review of Ruby because that actually starts on Saturday. So I've got a lot of stuff going on in terms of media. So I'm going to post this today. You guys stay safe, stay sane. I'm sending you all lots of love, hugs, and prayers. Stay spooky cute for the Halloween. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.